conceit. Maybe it's the hair, maybe it's the look in his eye, maybe it's his ability to turn gut-wrenching violence into light-hearted comedy with a wink and a nod. This master of menace has no idea how many movies, stage plays, and television shows he's done, and that's no wonder, since he's been acting, singing, and dancing for more than half a century. On Christmas Day, he'll open in Steven Spielberg's latest film, Catch Me If You Can. And just last year, he danced in a Spike Jones music video called Weapon of Choice that won five MTV awards. Not bad for a guy pushing 60. As Walken himself has said, it's not good to just sit around. I have nothing else to do. But really, I, I'm, I'm not crazy about my hobbies. I don't have uh, kids. Acting is it for you. That's it. As far as playing villains go, you know, I try to do something different once in a while. I did a Spike Jones video where I danced. You can blow with this. You can blow with this. A music video. Uh, Fat Boy Slim. Fat Boy Slim. You can blow with us. I try all sorts of things. I mean, I, I'm, I'm an amateur writer. Chef. Chef, painter, I have all these things that I would love to be able to do. And uh, I can't. Acting is the only thing I can do. Do you know who I am? The Antichrist. You got me in a vendetta kind of mood. You tell the angels in heaven you've never seen evil so singularly personified as you did in the face of the man who killed you. My angel, I kill firstborns while their mamas watch. I turn cities to salt. I even, when I feel like it, rip the souls from little girls and from now till kingdom come. The only thing you can count on in your existence is never understanding why. In order to play crazy people, you have to have some sort of distance from it. Who are you? That's a long story. The story begins at the Walken Bakery more than 50 years ago in the Queens section of New York. That's where little Ronnie Walken, his real name, was groomed by his mother for a life in show business. Buck is dead. Buck? Yes, that's the future master of menace himself in one of his many appearances during the early days of live television in New York. It was an amazing time. It really only lasted about a dozen years. In that time, there were 90 live shows from New York City every week. Would you have been an actor without your mother? No, I don't think so. Really? No. But you did it because she said to you, she wanted to be a performer. I think so. Rosalie was her name? Yes. She's a lot. She's living in Rod. <laughs> her name is Rosalie Russell, her maiden name. And uh, Rosalind Russell was a big star. She likes to be called Mom. Wow. <laughs> Mom, I hope you forgive me for saying that. But you don't have any regret about having a stage mother because... Oh, not at all. It was the best thing that could have happened. I left home after my first affair. How old were you? Nine and a half. Who did you have the affair with? My sister. She was 19, ravishing beauty. She looked like Jean Tierney. Oh, I love Jean. After a decade of stage roles, Walken, now Christopher Walken, made the transition to movies in the 70s with supporting roles in films like Next Stop Greenwich Village. Whips, chains, hot candles, that sort of thing. Usually playing the dashing but mysterious young man. I see the most gigantic ego in the history of mankind. I see charm, guile, poetry, and taste. Woody Allen hired you. Why? What did he know? What did he see? Well, I played this very peculiar guy. Dwayne? Yeah. And I remember the audition. I think he sort of walked in and he stayed. I never spoke to him. I mean, he stayed for a minute. He sort of looked at me. And then he left. We didn't speak. Just looked at me. And I got that job. There's a thing about this movies. This is Annie Hall we're talking about, one Annie of his Hall. better movies. Sometimes when I'm driving on the road at night, I see two headlights coming toward me. Fast, I have...
of the sudden impulse to turn the wheel quickly, head on into the oncoming car. I can anticipate the explosion, the sound of shattering glass, the flames rising out of the flowing gasoline. <clears throat> right. Well, I have, to, I have to go now, Dwayne, because I, I'm due back on the planet Earth. There's a thing about movies is that they're very expensive to make, and they're a big gamble, you know, for the people who invest in them. So it makes sense that some people play the lovers, and some people play the funny guy, and, you know, the best friend, and this and that. And there are people who play villains. And I don't know, I was talking to somebody, and I said, well, I always play these villains, you know, why am I playing all these you know, strange people? He said, it might have something to do with Annie Hall. And then in The Deer Hunter, I shot myself in the head. Uh, so it could be that my, my initial forays into movies had to do with strange people, and it kind of stuck. Come on, Mickey, come home. Let's keep this talk to me. Ah! In The Deer Hunter, Walken plays Nick a gentle soul, twisted and tortured by his tour in Vietnam. He was then 35 and had never earned more than $11,000 a year, but the performance earned him an Oscar as Best Supporting Actor and set the tone for his career as the movie's major misfit. If any of you are tired of getting ripped off by guys like that, You come with me, I'm at the Plaza Hotel. You're welcome. You're welcome! Enjoy! I, as I get older, I would love to start, you know, getting the Frederick Murray part. Do you think it's going to happen? Probably not. Yeah. But what you need is just one part. You convince one director to take this face and have people not see a killer. <laughs> but, but to see Fred McMurray. Well, I need a dog with a big <laughs> tail, you know. And I, I need a, a wife uh, who walks around the house with a dress and high heels. You, know. <laughs> yeah. you fall in love with me, didn't you? I did. <laughs> Chris Walken never got the dog with the big tail, but he got the wife in high heels. George Ann, a casting director, and his mate for the past 33 years. They met as dancers in the musical West Side Story. I have never met anybody like that in my life. Just had what? Intensity, uh, direction, uh, thoughtfulness, uh, love. 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 So much love there that you gave up dancing. Yes, but I think a dancer's career is fairly limited anyway. You can't do that your whole life. He can dance. Oh boy, he can dance. <laughs> Boy, can he. He's a hooker. 